Hello, my name is Dan Oaks, and I'm the creator of Cookin', the number one best-selling recipe organizer with over 3 million copies sold. I know you're anxious to get started with your Cookin' software, but if you take two or three minutes with me now, you're going to have a better experience with Cookin', and it's going to be easier to use, and you're going to get started faster, because I'm going to tell you some of the user interface components and how to get started quickly. The first thing you're going to notice when you start your Cookin' software is what we call the Cookin' homepage. The Cookin' homepage has a Cookin' daily section. This is where we post newsletter articles and recipes and so forth on a daily basis. There's news and updates, and this changes on a regular basis as well, and support and other resources. We came out with a new cookbook recently, so we're promoting that and showing that here. And this is your navigation, so you can find your recipes and your menus and so forth. And then this is the really neat part. This is where you can search the Internet for recipes. And when you find a recipe, you can click Capture here and save it into your recipe database. But before we search and capture recipes, what we need to do is create your own personal cookbook. So let's start there. It's really easy to do. Just click My Recipes. And now you'll see the list of cookbooks in your cookbook library. And right now, there's just one called the DBO.com cookbook. And these are the chapters in that book. I can click here. And I can see the different chapters, and I can click on one. So this is one way to browse through and find your recipes. It's very easy to do. I can click back, just like I would if I were browsing on a, on the Internet. And I can click next and next and next, and I can look through all these really cool recipes. This is a nice way to take a shortcut if you want to jump down to a recipe that you know already exists. But what I want to do is create my own cookbook. So I'm going to scroll up here, collapse this, collapse this. So here's my cookbook library, and I've got one cookbook in it. So I'm going to create a new one by clicking here. And then I could click this plus here to create a new cookbook. Or I could just don't go down here and click New Cookbook. I'm going to call this Oaks Family Recipes. I'm going to click Save. And now I'm going to create a new chapter by clicking here. I'm going to call this Main Dishes. I'm going to click Save. And now I could click New Recipe if I wanted to enter a new recipe. But you know what I'm going to do is click back here and create another new chapter called Desserts. By the way, if I go too fast, you can always pause this and rewind it and watch it again. So now I've got Oaks Family Recipes with a Main Dishes chapter and a Desserts chapter. And now I'm going to go back to the home page and I'm going to search the web. I'm looking for a chicken pot pie recipe because I saw this video and it got me hungry for chicken pot pie. Looks like I found a lot of good ones on the web here using cooking. In fact, I'm going to take a look at the first one here. Hmm, now this looks pretty good. But let me check again. I'm not sure. Da -da -da. Classic chicken pot pie. That looks good. Let's take a look at this one. Mmm, that's a good picture. That's what I'm talking about. Normally, you might want to print this recipe, but if you do, it's going to print all this other information. It's going to take pages and pages, and then you're going to have all these papers on your desk. Instead of doing that, what I'm going to do with Cookin' is click this Capture button, and Cookin' will scrape the content of this page and save it into the Cookin' New Recipe window. And Cookin' automatically took that recipe and put it into the New Recipe window and populated all these fields with the information. And now I can save this recipe, but before I do, I want to make sure I've got it in the right place. See, I can choose which cookbook and which chapter I want to save it in right now. And right now I do want to put this one in the Oaks Family Recipes Main Dishes. So I'm all set. Now when I click Save, watch what happens over here. Save. Now, in my Main Dishes chapter of the Oaks Family recipe cookbook, I've got this classic chicken pot pie, and I can click here to view it and look at it. Even got the picture, and it got all the ingredients and everything. And now, and it even saves a link so I could go back and see the original one if I want to just by clicking here. There it is. Okay, so I'm going to go back to here now. So this is my recipe and cooking, and with your recipe and cooking, you can do some really neat things. I can print it, for example, which is what I was considering doing earlier. And I can print it on a recipe card, and it looks really nice, or a 3 by 5 or a 4 by 6 or I could print it on a whole page, and I could include the photo if I want to, and cooking's going to make this printout look really super nice. 
So that's pretty neat. The other thing I can do if I wanted to is to see in our family, this recipe serves six. But there's eight of us in the family, and the boys eat like two people sometimes. So I'm going to adjust this recipe serving size. And when I do, cooking automatically goes and changes the quantities. You can't do that on the web page. That's pretty neat, and that's easy to do. The other thing I can do is make a grocery shopping list so I can go to the store and get all the things I need to make this food. And cooking does that for me. It categorizes all the fruits and vegetables and the um, cooking and baking and the milk and the dairy and the meats and poultry and so forth. So my grocery shopping trip will go quickly and it even analyzes a nutritional value for me so I can see exactly how many calories I'm consuming per serving and uh, how much cholesterol and so forth. So I can make sure I'm eating healthy and I can go back and tweak this recipe if I want to to make it healthier. So there's all kinds of things I can do. It's pretty awesome. And it's easy too. So already in just a couple minutes, we've come a long way. I've showed you already how to create a new cookbook and chapters and how to search for recipes on the web and capture them. Now what I'm going to show you how to do is how to enter your own personal recipes. It's really easy to do. In this case, I'm going to go ahead and click on the desserts here. I'm going to save this recipe, yes. I'm going to click on the desserts chapter. And I'm going to click this. I could click New Recipe here, or if you want to, as a shortcut, there's this New Recipe button on the toolbar I could click here as well. And I'm going to call this one, I'm going to save this recipe into the Desserts chapter. I'm going to call it Brownies. And this recipe serves six people, again. And this recipe was given to me by Aunt Ida. And it makes... 12 cookie or brownies. It takes about 10 minutes to prepare and it cooks for 30 minutes. And it calls for three tab C for cups, tab, tab, F for flour, tab, 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 two, tab, T A for tablespoons, B for butter. One tab teaspoon. Now this isn't quite big enough, so I'm going to open this a little bit so I can see this better. There we go. Yeah, that's good. S for salt. Tab, tab. So entering your recipes is really easy. You just start typing and tabbing. And as you start to type, cooking fills in vanilla extract. And if I wanted, for example, vanilla bean, I could just do space here because it's already on the vanillas and press B for bean and cook and finds it. So it's really easy to enter your own recipes. It goes really quickly because of cooking's quick fill feature. And now I can type in mix flour with butter and salt. And there's my recipe. And now I can click save. And now in my desserts chapter, I have a brownies recipe also. Now that I'm starting to get my recipes and cooking, I might want to make them look a little nicer. So what I'm going to do is choose my cookbook and I'm going to go options, change theme. And now I'm going to choose a different theme for all the recipes in my cookbook. In fact, you know which one looks good? This is DVO.com one. I don't know. Sometimes the plain one is kind of nice though. There's so many to choose from and they're all so cool. Modern is cool. Let's go with that one. And I'm going to click OK. Would you like to assign this theme to all the chapters? Yes. Okay, and so now my recipes and my cookbook and chapters are going to be themed in the modern style. And so they're going to look just the way I want them to. Bada bing! Looks great! So we've created our own cookbook, we've created our own chapters, we captured a recipe off the internet, and we entered a recipe of our own. Now what I'm going to show you next is how to make a menu. Just click Menus on the toolbar. And now I can start dragging these labels on here, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and so forth. And I may want to take breakfast, lunch, and dinner on Sunday, let's say. Just drag them over and drop them. And now I've got the framework for my menu. All I'm going to do is start dragging over these recipes, like this classic chicken pot pie recipe for dinner on Sunday. And bada bing. I can move this a little wider if I want to. And I might want to have some brownies for dessert. That's a good brownie recipe there. And I might want to search or find some others too. We might want to have a really good beverage at dinner time, like this one. I just drag it over and drop it. So making a menu is really easy to do. And I'm making a menu with recipes 
that I captured off the internet plus recipes that I typed in. And so here's my menu. I'm going to now call this Dan's Week 1 and go down here and click Save. And now I've got Dan's Week 1 right here. Now instead of create, dragging and dropping all these labels, I could take a week, a menu for a month already, and I might want to right click on this and choose copy menu, and now it's going to make a new one with this template. So I can say Dan's month number one. And I can then take Dan's week one and drop it right here. So I can embed menus within menus. It's really neat, and it's easy to do, too. So making menus is really easy, and I've showed you now, so far, how to browse recipes in the cookbook that comes with it, create your own cookbook, make your own chapters, search and capture recipes off the Internet, enter your own recipes. What you might want to do, give this a try, is check out some of the cookbooks we have. In fact, if you go to dvo.com, you could get there this way, and you can scroll over to cookbooks and see some of our new releases or top sellers. Here's all the cookbooks that we have. Scroll this list and look at all these cookbooks. They're a lot of fun and it's a nice way to add recipes to your cookbook library here because when you download them from our website you save quite a bit. In fact they're about 75 percent of the list price. So you save 25 percent. And if you join the cooking club you can get a free cookbook every single month. It's really pretty neat. Well, I hope this presentation helped you get started with your cooking software fast, and I hope you have a great experience with it. If you do, please come back and visit dvo.com again, send me an email, tell a friend or two about your cooking software and how great it is, or go write a positive review about cooking. All those things help us out and give us the opportunity to make cooking even better. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.